J ハット塾。Please hit subscribe. This problem appears at the qualifying examinations for applicants for Japanese government or MEXT scholarships 2020. This problem is from the 2020 College of Technology Mathematics questionnaire. The answer key and the original questions are linked in the description. We are trying to solve this trigonometric equation. Here we have the cosine of 2x, the cosine of x, and we are told that x is between 0 and 2 pi. That means we do not have infinitely many values of x because we know that we are confined to the to this interval. So it's only between 0 and 1 revolution after, which is 2 pi. First thing we want to do is to get rid of the of the cosine 2x. So we want to express this in terms of cosine x. And to do that, we will need the double angle identities from trigonometry. Then when we have everything expressed in cosine of x, we will have a quadratic equation and we will have to solve that quadratic equation. So we will need to remember how to solve quadratic equations. And then when we have the solution for the quadratic equation, we will plug back in the cosine of x. And that will be a trigonometric equation again, but this time it will be a linear trigonometric equation. We'll see how that looks like. Here we write down the given. This is the original given. And here we remind ourselves that we are only looking for values within 0 and 2 pi. So between those two values. And the first step, as we mentioned, is to express everything in terms of cosine x. And we use this identity, the identity that says that the cosine of 2x equals this bit. And so we can replace this with this. And now we have this. Now we see that everything is now in terms of cosine x. And now we can make the substitution y equals cosine x. So this is just for convenience so that it is easier for us to write everything. Instead of writing cosine x every time, we just write y. So let's replace this with y squared and this with y. And so we have this. Now we just group like terms. So this bit becomes this bit, this one becomes this, and minus one plus three becomes two, and we still have zero here. Now we just divide everything by two so that we have smaller numbers, and we get this. Now this is a simple quadratic equation, and we know how to solve this. We notice that this is a perfect square here, so we express it in terms of the binomial y plus one squared equals zero. Now we get the square root of both sides, and this is what we get. So here we get zero because that's the square root of zero, and here we will get this the square root of this, which is y plus one. Then we just move the plus one to the other side, and this is what we get. Now, because we know that y is originally cosine of x, we just replace this with a cosine of x, and we get this trigonometric equation. Now we just have to recall that in this interval between 0 and 2 pi, the cosine of x is negative 1 only once, and that happens when x is pi. And we will know this if we try to graph the cosine of x, or if you recall the definition of cosine from the unit circle. If you learned something new today, Please help my channel by clicking the subscribe button and the bell for the notifications. See ya! J Hat Juku. Please hit subscribe.